I got a big room in the basement that I'm thinking of using for workshop purposes but in the winter it tends to settle around 13 degrees Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit and if I use a 1500 watt space heater like this one that in a few hours raises the temperature by one degree or two degrees Fahrenheit and if I use two of them it raises it by twice as much but it seems kind of a waste of energy so I bought this 750 watt infrared heater to experiment with heating just a small area. The idea is not so much to heat the whole basement room but to just make it feel warm in one area of the basement without heating up everything. So if I stand straight in front of this thing it feels very much like being in front of a hot wood stove although it has a relatively narrow beam so if I just back off the axis a little bit there's much less heat that comes off of it. And I want to measure how much warmer this actually makes things feel. So I've got it set up right now and I've got some cardboard boxes and I put insulation material inside the boxes so that I'm only looking at surface effects here. And I want to see how much it warms up those boxes and that'll tell me how much warmer the room actually feels. The boxes are 1.8 meters or about 6 feet from the heater. So measuring other things in the basement I get about uh, 13 degrees, so I'll call that my baseline, and now measuring the box that is 1.8 meters from the uh, infrared light, I get 25.2 here, and here I get 23.2, and measuring a bit further away, it's only 19 degrees, but that's because there's no insulation right there, and I just want to get how does the surface feel. Now this box that I was just measuring is totally on axes with this heater whereas this one here is 60 centimeters or 2 feet off of axes at a 1.8 meter or 6 feet distance from the light. 15.9 on this side and on this side 18.8. And I have another box set up even further from the infrared heater all the way from here to there, that's 3.3 meters or about 11 feet away. So let's measure this one. 15.1 and 16.9. So now looking at the numbers, if we're 1.8 meters from the heater or about 6 feet, we're up 11 degrees Celsius over ambient or about 20 Fahrenheit. But if we just move 0.6 meters or about 2 feet off axis of that, then we're only up 4.4 .4 degrees or about 8 Fahrenheit. So the beam is fairly narrow. So quite a bit of extra heat felt here, but move off quite a bit less. And that basically is to say, facing this way at this box, it feels like it's 11 degrees warmer, although facing the other way, there's no difference. And then for the box that's further away, that's this one, which is 3.3 meters or 11 feet. And it also happens to be about 0.8 meters or 24 inches off axes. The rise is 3 degrees or about 6 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, of course, the average temperature rise that you would feel would really only be about half of that much because it's heating up the front side, but not the back. But as long as you're moving about, uh, I think that will average out. I have experiment with having this heater maybe a couple of meters from me and just using a computer in a room that's relatively unheated and that felt very uneven. It was a bit uncomfortable. So uh, you really can't use it to make up for uh, lack of heating but to get a little bit of extra heat is quite nice especially in a workshop type context where you're moving around. So from here to here, the front of this box warmed up by about 3 degrees, which on average, if you also consider the back of the box, would be like having it 1.5 degrees warmer, or about 3 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's already more than this heater can do in hours in terms of warming up the room. Whereas with this one, you get the effect right away. Now, this heater also has an oscillating mode. And that just has the effect of spreading the heat around so that the average heat that is felt is going to be, of course, much less, but it's effectively a much wider beam. 
Although it doesn't oscillate a huge amount, not like an oscillating fan. So if you've got a large room that uh, you just want it to at least feel warm very quickly, an infrared heater really is the way to go. But if you've got a small room that you're just sitting in, it makes much more sense to just use a space heater and heat up the whole room instead of just blasting heat at you with infrared. But I think I will be using this heater from time to time, although I am concerned what may happen to it once it starts to get dusty. I may have to open it up and clean it from time to time.